guys welcome to the channel this is the next video the next week hope you have seen all my previous videos check them out if you haven't but all previous videos are not required for this one no, so let's just get ahead today we're going to check out something called remotion it is a library made for made like in sync with react made in javascript so what it does it it lets you create videos now not just like normal videos it, it uh, enables you to make graphics and animation in your video let's see the page or the documentation uh, okay so what we have here is this these are the steps so first of all you need to have these two installed i'm sure most of you have node.js installed and uh, coming to fm ffmpg so this is used only for creating the rendered final video if you don't want to render it if you just want to try it out and like preview it you don't need it at all so don't bother but i have uh, installed it and you can too using like going into the and following the steps for mac it is pretty simple you can use brew brew install ffmpg that's it will be done okay so these are the steps i just noted them down and i'll be following them let's try this just make a folder and run this wait for it to complete name your video my video yeah sure why not okay it has different starter templates let's go with the first one Uh, if I can make it a little bit bigger, it will be better for the video. Okay, let's see how it goes. Files are getting created, of course. It's going to take some time. So once this is done, it's going to start it. This enables you to preview it because I think it already has a command made for it. Okay. Open the project in VS Code. I mean, what will it do? It will open it another folder. Well, let it be. I don't need to open it in VS Code because I'm already in VS Code. So I'm going to do CD my video so this is it i'm here and are uh, talking about start this is the command start runs and this is the command build runs so this build command uses fmpg uh, otherwise it is not required so i'm just going to go with the next command that is npm start and preview what is going on in this video um, I think yeah, it opened in off of the screen, so I'm just going to bring it here. Okay, so this is the preview video. It looks like a, you know like an editor, but of course your final video will not have this editing options. It will be a video file like in this whatever you name it to. So as you can see, this is it. We just made the first video using remotion.js. I'll not be going deep into it in this video. Maybe in the next video, I'll bring how to play with it, how to get the variables, how to like animate further. Anyway, so let me just show you the initial structure. <coughs> like these these elements are created due to some code, right? You need to go check that code. So this is the code. Um, this is the logo. This is the title. Welcome to Remotion. Title color black. So this is how it is being rendered directly from the code. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and build it. Like, <laughs> let's see if it works. I'm going to cancel it now. <coughs> npm run build. So I guess it's going to create a out folder and. Uh, generate the video file and since I've 
installed ffmpg i think there is no error who knows i might still get an error but let's just wait for it yeah it is i guess it will be completed hopefully so the motive of creating this video is the preview is is not useful right you can't upload it to youtube you cannot send it to your friends but this final video will be an mp4 file which you can like play in a music player video player upload on youtube send it to friends so that's why this is important okay so this, these frames and all can be defined for individual compositions like you see here for example duration in frame it is 100 frame duration so uh, let's take a simple one for example if it was say uh, 120 just a second uh -uh. sorry i need to do that i don't know what this is just press something random anyway so if you have like 120 frames and the video is 30 frames per second then obviously it is going to run for uh, four seconds so that is how you do it and you don't need to calculate it you just go with 30 that is fine unless you're making a like a very responsive video very far uh, video and uh, like frame duration needs to be uh, like as required you have to specify but let us check out the out file first uh, no open it with reveal in finder Okay, so it is on, on the second screen, but anyway, I'm going to bring it here. Uh, one second, stuck. Yeah, no. Okay, so this is the rendered video. And this is a completely MP4 file. I'm not using any kind of Node.js, anything for, to play it. You can, be, you can be playing it in like on a browser. You can be playing it in, on your phone, anywhere. So you can upload it to YouTube. So that is how it is. So that's all for today's video. Like, I will be uh, like playing with it and using different options and sh share the more interesting part of the video i know this is like only the basics and just the boring part but uh, stay with me i'll be sharing an update in the next video until then goodbye take care and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe like it is a great motivation for me i have no other motivation for making this video uh, please hit the like button uh, subscribe if possible share it with your friends if possible please and anyway thank you for watching uh, good luck